Hey there, everybody. Hope you are doing great. Hope you had a wonderful, uplifting, and enjoyable Yom Ha'atzma'ut. I want to turn our attention to Parsha Kedoshim, in particular the, le- the very end of the Parsha describes that, uh, or, or recounts that God said, V'yitem li Kedoshim, ki Kadosh ani Hashem, that you shall be for me a holy people, the Jewish people, ki, because I, God, am holy. And I will separate you from the other nations to be for me. And this sort of speaks about this unique status of the Jewish people. And on the surface, it almost sounds like we're supposed to, you know, just be different and build a wall. And, you know, maybe, you're, you know, there's us and there's the rest of the world. And there's a statement here that's quoted by Rashi from Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah, who lived in the time of the, of the Mishnah following the destruction of the second Beit HaMikdash. Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah says, how do I know that I'm not supposed to say nafshi katsab is that I'm disgusted by by pork? Pork is disgusting. I'm not supposed to say that. How do I know that I'm not supposed to say that I'm repulsed by the fact that people could wear shotnes, wool and linen garments? By the way, people who are allowed to wear it, right? Non-Jewish people are allowed to wear shotnes and they're allowed to eat pork. It's not a problem at all. How do I know I'm not supposed to be repulsed by, by that? But rather that I'm supposed to say, actually, I would love to engage in these types of things. Um, but God, but God decreed that I'm not allowed to. How do I know that that's supposed to be my attitude? And, the, and, the, and, the, and Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah says, it's, it's this pasuk. God said, I'm separating you from the other nations to be for me. Meaning that when you are doing things that are different than the rest of the world, because of the unique Torah laws, you're doing it lishmi, for me, God says. All right? Really, you would want to eat the pork. It's probably delicious. But we don't eat it because God says so. And that's why I do mitzvot. And what I love about Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah's teaching is that it teaches us about what is our attitude supposed to be to the rest of the world, to the other nations of the world. And it's not supposed to be, let's build a wall in between us and the rest of the world and just live in our little corner, right? And, and you know, pretend that everything that's going on over on the other side of that, of that wall is disgusting, repulsive. No, not at all. We do things differently because God commanded us to. God wanted us to follow a set of laws that make us holy because we are reflecting God's will. And the teachings and the morals and the values and the ethics of God. We're not supposed to have the attitude of, ugh, disgusting what's going on over there. It's not at all supposed to be our attitude. In fact, I'll go on to add that Avraham, the original patriarch of the Jewish people, was picked by God to to represent the values of, of, of God of the morals and the values and teachings and ethics of God. We're supposed to engage with the world and inspire the world and help the world grow and the other nations to grow and they should, we're supposed to be that light unto the nations. So when, when we do things differently, it's not because we're better. It's not because, you know, our, no, we're doing it because it connects us with God and in doing so, allows us to be the emissaries of amazing ideas, of amazing values that are learned from our laws. And we should teach those to the world through our example of how we act. And I hope and I pray that we all live up to that high bar of being the Avrams in our generation, of inspiring the world and helping people see the beauty of, of God's ways in this world. May we succeed in this mission every single day of our lives to inspire not just the Jewish people, but to be an inspiration to every person in this world. Shabbat Shalom.